Today is the 5th of March 2020 and it is Thursday of the first week of Lent. I ask you dear friends to reflect with me on the theme, Praying with the Heart of God. The Gospel passage that we read from Matthew chapter 7 verse 7 to 12 tells us of the generous will of God. He says, Ask and it shall be given to you. Search and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. It is only the one who is able to give all without holding anything back that can say that. As God says that, it is like one signing a blank check and handing it to a person over whom you have no control on what amount of money he withdraws from your account. There is no one else that is able to do that apart from God. And he does that because he trusts that we shall not ask for whatever is degrading and unfit for our divine heritage. But unfortunately, and sadly indeed, like Herodias and her daughter, from time to time we also ask for the head of John the Baptist. Whenever we muffle or stifle the voice of conscience, that points the way to God's will for us, we are like Herodias and her daughter. When we pray, dear friends, our petition should not only be for ourselves, but also for the good of others and for the purpose of staying in God's will. The story of Esther, in Esther chapter 14, verse 1 to 4, that we read today, sets a vivid example for us. Esther took a risk with her own safety and position as queen for the good of the entire nation. In her, we see a prayer that is directed towards the good of the entire community. I therefore urge everyone to include in our daily prayers, prayer for our country, Nigeria, at this critical time of insecurity. Pray for the civil and political leaders for guidance so that they can seek the common good instead of parochial and sectional interests. Pray for those whose lives have been shattered by the scourge of Boko Haram and Iswap terrorism, kidnapping and all sorts of violence. Just as Esther prayed for the survival of her race, let us never fail to pray for the survival of a united and strong Nigeria. Pray, dear friends, for the personnel of our armed forces who daily risk their lives to secure the country. Many have died. Many more have been traumatized and are deformed for life. Let us keep in prayers those who are sick, those who are suffering from addictions that threaten the will of God for them. Pray for those who offer health care and are constantly in danger of being infected by those they treat, particularly in these days of coronavirus and Lassa fever. Pray for the conversion of sinners and for people who have asked for your prayers. Never be selfish with your prayers. Lord, Turn your merciful gaze upon the petitions of our hearts. May your will be done in our lives. Amen. And I bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <music>